Welcome to a beautiful combination, a harmony of European architecture, culture, and the Middle East. This is a city of 16 million people and a melting pot of culture. You get everything in the city of Istanbul, and I can't wait to share with you guys the travels through Turkey starting right here. Starting this morning off with a epic sunrise here in Istanbul, and I want to introduce you to who we're going to be traveling across Turkey with. Traveler number one. What's up, guys? We've got Brett Conti here. You guys might remember him from my New York videos. Mm -hmm. Ruby Hi guys. travels. What's you might up? remember her from the Tulum series. <laughs> and we're missing one person. This is just maybe a five minute walk from our hotel, and the super cool thing is we're seeing here that all the local men get together here to go fishing in the morning. It's a really beautiful scene. What are you having, Ruby? We're having baklava, our first baklava here. I'm super excited, we'll see if it's good. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's not my thing. That's really sad. Baklava is a traditional Turkish pastry. It's made out of filo dough, honey, pistachio, and just deliciousness, and it was really good. And there she is. Good morning, guys. The final partner in crime. And by the way, this is the youngest female to travel to every country in the world. I'm 22, but I broke the Guinness World Record for the youngest person to travel to every country when I turned 21. I've got a few records too. Now, if there's one thing that I get excited about when I travel, it's affordability. And oh my gosh, for the three of us to order baklava to get our own Turkish coffees, it was eight dollars US for the whole table. This is Turkish original ice cream, very very nice cream. Man, I'm in a big hurry. Could I get some ice cream? Yes. I'm running late. Yeah. Uh -uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. What is going on? <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. I personally don't know Istanbul, this is my first time here, but one thing I've heard of is about the Grand Bazaar. It's supposed to be a massive square of chaotic shopping, all sorts of local goods, and we are just a couple blocks away from it. Now, one of the craziest things about the bazaar is that it dates back to the 1400, making it the world's oldest shopping mall. It can be chaotic, it can be crazy, but with our current situation in life, it's actually not as busy as you would expect. My goal here is to explore and find the craziest things that money can buy. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna turn into an Oompa Loompa. This is like what you would see in Willy Wonka. Mm. This is so good. Ahmed is hooking us up with a tea time. Yeah. We just met him a second ago. What you have to do, guys, is you gotta come into one of these shops. If you get a nice shopkeeper, you can have like a tasting experience. And so far, we've tried probably about eight of these different flavors of Turkish delight. That was phenomenal. For mm -hmm. being in the Grand Bazaar for only like five minutes, it's off to an amazing start. If you want to meet Ahmed, the legend, the VIP, right there. Guys, look at this jewelry. I love it. Got some matchings. Are we twins? That is pretty cool. Did we just become best friends? Yes. Let's go do karate. <laughs> so I want to show you guys what I just got. I got this amazing pendant, $35. I just got this here bracelet and it's incredible quality. It's silver, at least that's what they told me. I love it. This was $100. I tried to negotiate so hard, but he wasn't having it. And then this was $15 for this really cool copper little piece. Quick coffee stop at a five generation old coffee shop here in the bazaar. Thank you. He said that I have to call my girlfriend because of my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> he was just explaining to us that with Turkish coffee, it's said that you have the ability to like see into the future or get readings. And so what you have to do is turn the coffee cup upside down. And then from there, once it's cold, basically the side of the mug will have all sorts of different patterns. If you're in touch with that side, you're able to read into it. And apparently, Brett, you better call your girlfriend. I'll call my girlfriend. I'm a little nervous. 
Small world is an expression here all the time, but I just bumped into Mauricio and Tanya, and Tanya is actually in Lost Creator Academy. Yay! Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Personally, I, I really hate tourist experiences, so that's why I only show you guys the cultural side of Turkey. And today we're getting the best of it. I shoddy being that guy for sure. This one? Yeah, I want the sword. After three hours in there, we gotta go. So I have no idea what a kestan is, but when you travel, you have to try new things. Luckily, it's very inexpensive to try things. Could I do 100 grams? 100 grams kestan. Very good. Is it walnut? Chestnut. Chestnut. Yes, chestnut. Good things come to people who try new things. Oh my gosh! At first bite, a little confused. Second bite, good. Third bite, I'm a kestan lover. So we came all the way to this rooftop following some stranger that met us outside of a closed site that used to be a famous Instagram spot in Istanbul. I know, confusing, right? I don't even know how we ended up here. But unsurprisingly, the reality behind the Instagram photo is a lot less sexy than the photo itself. Wow. One of the most important things when you travel is people. And right now here in Turkey, we've been met by the most incredible hosts, shopkeepers, strangers on the road. It doesn't matter who they are. Very few places in the entire world have this level of kindness. I'm really excited with how our trip here in Turkey has started. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello, Brett. Hey, guys. Where are we going? We have another day in beautiful Turkey. We're heading to the Galata Tower, which is on the European side of the city. So one thing you should know about Istanbul is that we're actually on a continental divide. One part of the city is in Europe and another part is in Asia. And today we're gonna be exploring both sides. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering what it's like to travel Turkey right now. And the truth is, everything feels quite normal. It's a great time to travel here. I've been traveling the world for a while now. And one of the most frustrating things in all of these travels is that internet is not the same across each country. Sometimes my favorite shows are unavailable and in some extreme cases, apps that I need can be simply blocked. Luckily, today's video sponsor is a complete solution to that. Using Surfshark, a powerful VPN provider, you're able to actually change your location. So if I have any restrictions here in Turkey, I can simply set it so that I'm back in Canada and just like that, my favorite show is back and my apps are up and running. Another key benefit for us travelers, we have the ability to use a VPN to make sure that our internet security, our information on our computer that is downloaded and uploaded is kept far safer than before. And the awesome thing is, using the code LeBlanc, not only do you get 83% off Surfshark, but you also get three months for free and you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. So yeah, it's risk free and it's an incredible tool for us travelers. So if you want to check out Surfshark, it's linked down below. And guys, let's get back to Istanbul. So right behind me here, this is the Galleta Tower, which built in the 1300s was used to store prisoners. Today it attracts prisoners, but a very different kind. Prisoners to their phones. I see Instagrammers everywhere. Everybody taking photos, posing, doing photo ops. Ooh, that'd be a nice photo spot. Wow. I think this is the first time I've seen normal looking tourism. It's a good feeling. <laughs> Feels really good. From what I've seen so far, this is my favorite side of all of Istanbul, just near the Galleta Tower. There's so many cool boutique coffee shops, restaurants, all sorts of custom jewelry. It's colorful, it's European looking. I'm so happy to be here in Istanbul. I was really excited to come see it for myself. And so far, way better than I expected. Lunch is served. We are right now at this Lebanese restaurant by the name of... Arada. This is so good. That was phenomenal. Mm, delicious. Nobody wants baklava. Everybody wants baklava. It makes a good baklava. So we are on our way to the most famous place so far in Istanbul to get some baklava. And Again. we're about to find out why. <laughs> Number three, round three. I expect to get about seven rounds. I have like 15 different places saved. So let's see if it's good. Why is it closed? <laughs> Yay! There's a restaurant right next to it that has the same name, but it's not that. Okay. <laughs> I love baklava. 
Okay. Ah, I will actually try a baklava here. This looks legit. Really? This looks really <laughs> legit. Okay, okay. Alright guys, moment of truth. I'm ready. Okay. You better be good. Mm, best baklava ever. <laughs> it's still not my top dessert, but it's the best I've had. <laughs> it's tough to please Mr. LeBlanc. It is the best baklava I've had. Hands down. Turns out I just don't like pistachio. Hit me with a beat. It's time to leave Europe and go to Asia. Who's ready to go to Asia? <laughs> it was a crazy journey, but 15 minutes later, we made it. I am back in my favorite continent, Asia. Now, it might be too early to say, but from what I can see already, the Asian side is a lot more of the affordable side of Turkey. So you lose a lot of that beautiful European look. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so funny. When you see something like this, it looks like a deep fried, almost mini donut. But at the same time, I keep getting these wafts of fishy smells. Yeah. They're, they're basically deep fried fish donuts. Whoa. It's good. It's really good. It's exploded in your mouth. It's apparently not fish, it's candy. I want the candy now. <laughs> no! How many followers do I have? Subscribe! Subscribe! And like! 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 So even though it's not as old school as it was in the European side, one thing that you do have out in the Asian side is kind of like a hipster town. And right now we're going into Moda, and so you can see all sorts of cool coffee shops, breweries. We made it back. guys day number three here in Istanbul just starting it off by checking out of the romance hotel by the way this is where we've been staying and it is so beautiful in one of the best regions of the city walking distance from like everything and the rooms have so much character they actually all have their own Ottoman clothing that's supposed to bring like a good aura a good fortune to the room and this morning I actually started it off in their Turkish spa going to the gym going into the sauna was such an amazing way to get the day going. And now we are off to see one of the most famous locations here in the city. We just got dropped off at this beautiful little district and it's time to get, what's the name? Lakmamut? Lamakun. Lamakun, Turkish Thanks. pizza. <laughs> right there. Lamakun. Wow, this is super cool. It literally feels like being in somebody's kitchen. Just check this out. You can literally see them cooking it right over there. You've got the whole countertop here, the backsplash like you would in a nice home. I feel real cozy right now. <laughs> so it turns out Lama Jun is not exactly the exact same as pizza. It's actually a lot thinner. It's like a thin crust. But what you're meant to do is you take the end of it and you roll it up. At least that's what we've seen others doing. But personally, I'm gonna have to get on that spice train. Halfway through it, load it up. Mm. I don't spice. Really good. Now this is a different version. This is a pide, which is very similar to a pizza, but think of it as like an oval shape and folded in on the corners. It's really, really good. This is my favorite of the two. It doesn't have cheese or tomato as the base, which is what you'd see in pizza. And I kind of miss that side, but this is ultimately something different. And overall, it's delicious. Guys, the thing that keeps shocking me about Istanbul, Turkey, is how affordable it is. All of us just ate for 102 Turkish lira. That's roughly $13 for four people to have a full meal. Just about a full meal. And they even threw in complimentary tea. It's so wild. All right guys, so this area is called Balat and it is, as so many parts of Istanbul, just beautiful. And again, you get that very European feel, tight alleyways, cobblestone roads, and we've just arrived here at the purpose for our visit. So when you come to Balat, <laughs> this is what you can expect. It's so wild. This hill is like this. You can never see it in camera. But let me tell you, you might want to walk up backwards. It's a little easier. Whew. Whoa. Take me. Hello. All right, guys. 
This is a battle of Bruce and Teddy. Bruce has the lower ground, but he's more aggressive. Oh! Bruce! But Teddy's angry. Teddy's going for a little revenge. Oh, Teddy! Teddy gives it to him! Absolute bad lad. It's enough drama for today. Allah, Allah. <laughs> he wants me to drive his car. <laughs> Allah, Allah. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. Mom, I love Scary you. Dad, off. mom, sister. Dad just got out of his car in the middle of the road. <laughs> you call this guy if you need to get anywhere quick. So in three hours we have a flight, so we're rushing this. But right over here is Sophia Mosque. But if we just go like this, we're still at Sophia Mosque. But if I go like this, and this is the world famous Blue Mosque, also currently known as the Renovation Mosque. <laughs> There's nothing to see here right now. It's all under renos. So let's go ahead and do one last magical spin. And we have just made it here to the airport because we've got to jump on a plane in just a few minutes here. We're already running a bit late for this one. And we're heading down south here in Turkey. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button and let's get lost again in the next one.